Hello, I'm Valentin Mandaci, the architectural historian, and I am at the Bolten Church in the village of Perisht, commune of Perisht, as it's uh, called in Romania, this administrative, uh, territorial administrative uh, unit, uh, not far from Bucharest, about 20 kilometers north from Bucharest. The church is a very interesting example between the transi of transition between uh, the style uh, typical of the Bulgarian uh, Empire, which in itself uh, comes from the Byzantine architecture, to the Wallachian one. And it was uh, erected sometimes in the early 17th century, 1726, I think, obviously on an older structure which was destroyed, which probably was more like Byzantine Bulgarian one. But this one is an interesting transition and also, in my opinion, has some uh, influences from the Moldavian style, which is very much influenced by the Gothic. Let's get closer to its portal. It's got a veranda, which is typical for the Wallachian style churches. And I understood from the priest who came over here, uh, that was added sometimes in early 19th century, and it's surrounding the first half of the church, more or less like the Greek churches, Byzantine ones, which I've seen recently in one of my study trips in Thessaloniki, for example. But the main body of the church, the nave, is from the early 17th century. You can see that the entrance in the veranda, it has this keel arch typical of the Wallachian style, made in brick, and then the portal of the church itself again is in the Wallachian style and according to the priests is the original one from the 17, 1620s which makes it unbelievable, unbelievable early for the uh, Wallachian style. It's the first time I encountered it so early. That's why I'm a bit suspicious that is the if it's the original one or not. If it is, it's absolutely remarkable. It might be because it has all of these motives around the nograttive motives, which looks like uh, that era, look like that era. And uh, it might be also a bit of a Moldavian influence from the Gothic of the Bukovina. And uh, what betrays a bit the Moldavian influence is that in the middle of the church, the uh, division between the naos and pronaos is made by a wall with a door. And that is the structure typical of the Moldavian churches to make them more resistant to the structure, to, to, to keep the weight. Then that is the construction motif of the Moldavian churches. It's probably a period of reciprocal influences with Moldavia, was at that time, much more advanced in architecture than here in Wallachia. What is from the older architecture, as I said, coming from Byzantium via the Bulgarian Empire, is this type of construction of uh, bricks intercalated with uh, stone, which in the Wallachian style goes away. It's not uh, used anymore, just bricks with mortar afterwards in the late 17th century and 18th century. So I think it's a very interesting uh, architecture, very interesting example, even for the evolution of the Wallachian style. I'm Valentin Mandaci, the architectural historian. I hope that you like this presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye.